53 of the best athletes in the world gathered in Bermuda for the second stop of the 2019 ITU World Triathlon Series. Stand the by. second time that this small island in the Atlantic Ocean had hosted a WTS event. Full Olympic distance and in the water it was the Frenchman Vincent Lewis who was very quickly away. Two laps in Hamilton Harbour. Noble, the Austrian, also going well, as was the veteran Russian, Igor Polyansky. As they came towards the end of the 1500 metres, not too much changing the order on that second lap. Vassal Lewis, who was so much more consistent last season, including a victory in the grand final of the Gold Coast. He was first out in a shade under 18 minutes. Richard Varga for once, playing second fiddle in the water. You remember last year in this event, we had three Norwegians, first, second and third, a clean sweep, first time that had ever happened on the circuit. There were some issues on the bike, particularly for the American, William Huffman, whose race ended prematurely. No early breakaways this time, though. A group of 17 or 18 up front at one stage had a, a near 25 second advantage over the chasing pack. They didn't really make the most of it. Johnny Brownlee there at the front, making his return to WTS racing after an injury ravaged 2018. Tried to get something going, but no one wanted to go with him. So it was a large pack of around 30 with 15 kilometers to go. But just when we thought there wouldn't be a breakaway, there was some, ac some action up the front. Three men decided to make a break for it. Van Eckdom, Schomburg and Koenigs. A Dutchman, a German and a Frenchman. And they got themselves a handy little cushion of around about 20 seconds. But it was Schomburg who was the stronger, and he went solo for the latter stages of the bike, earning a lead of around about half a minute. Whether it would be enough, though, against the stellar field of chasers remained to be seen. Still, at least he had a clear transition to get his running shoes on, but he knew he was being hunted down by some of the best runners in the sport. Eight previous WTS winners in the field here, that's how strong it was. And Schomburg was reeled in just after the end of the first lap. A couple of Norwegians were in there, Gustav Eden, Christian Blumenfeld, both of those have been on the podium in this event 12 months before. And it wasn't long before, Javier Gomez, the veteran, the five-time world champion who hadn't featured at all last season to concentrate on longer distance races at the grand old age of 36, right up front. But it was a thrilling finale with Vincent Lewis, Eden and Dorian Codex from France who done really well to get onto that leading group. And it was anyone's race, but it was Koenigs who made the decisive move very close to home. And for once, no one could go with him. The 25-year-old Frenchman onto the blue carpet to win the first WTS medal of his career, and it would be gold. Brilliant display. You can see exactly what it meant to him, and look at Gomez sprinting behind. He got the better of Eden to take silver. The Norwegian with a bronze for the second successive Bermuda WTS. A day that Dorian Koenigs would never forget. Terrific performance. Especially because after Abu Dhabi, I was very disappointed. It was a very bad race for me, and you know, when you start the season very bad, it's always hard, it's always hard so I was just thinking, okay, I don't care anymore, I just want to have pleasure, and it's crazy. So victory for Cody Sommerday, Vincent Louis took over at the top of the rankings. <laughs>